but we, you know, we made it work, and and, and and now we're here, so we're thrilled. And now we're here, so we're thrilled. My name is Harry. I'm the Meghan Markle here. September 12, 2023. It is 1.25 a.m. This is video number two. Video number one is on our part of your service. I focus on the Invictus. So now I want to do a video for this channel because I'm running out of content for you guys because most of my content are being uploaded onto our part of your service. Checking the revenue. $263.33. The estimate is between $230 and $470. I don't know. All right? I do not know. I'm just showing what I see on my screen. Okay? But the last 48 hours, the views is 2796 And some people are saying that they're not getting notification. So, I don't know. Just know that uh, I have at least a video per day for you. Okay? So let's look for instance. All right, this is why I'm making these videos because I'm running out of content for you guys because I have all the things that I'm doing are for uh, my other channel. So I have one for tomorrow, uh, the morning, September 12th at 6 a.m. I have this and then tomorrow I have another one and then I'm gonna create this one for the following day, the 14th. So at least one video per day. So let's go on Twitter. All right, so we're gonna start with this. I bookmark mine. Actually, how many videos, do, I mean, how many tweets do that I have for you? I have nine plus one. Okay, so two of the tweets on here was on my other channel, Our Part of Pure Service. I'm gonna cut it out and put it here. So technically, this is the third one, okay? So this is where I'm at. I have nine plus two more because I'm going to add two more here. All right. So this one, this is where we are. Actually, let's do it now. I'm going to copy this and put it here. All right. So these two, I've already done it, but this is where we are now. This is the first tweet, okay? Um, this is not a funny thread. These last few days in the UK have made me realize how impacted the country has become by Brexit. The damage done, the hope removed, the ambition stifled, and worse of all, the cynicism, the hate, the aggression, and the underlying violence all increased. That brings to me where... I don't know I've said so many things in the past for my other channels that resonates in here okay I've shared information about um, there's this young Brit who create this business uh, clothing business uh, for people who work out and all of that I'll, I'll put his pictures as I'm saying this but I don't know something is wrong over there and I've also mentioned how so many creativity come out of the UK. Forget about colonization and all that. It's all, <laughs> if you think about that, it's just a different branch. I, my next video somewhat had to do with it. But before, you thought that the UK wanted to change, bring um, a different way or something. But it's just suppressing people. All right, so let's continue. All right, where did I, did I finish that? The ambition stifled and worse of all, the cynicism, the hate, the aggression, and the underlying violence all increased. 
I said most of all and the young. Those who represent the future of the UK are now resigned to mediocrity. The second place to be a citizen of a country ruled by a government that wants them to sit down and be quiet, not to complain, not to highlight injustice. Hmm. Not to seek a better Britain. The current British government is without doubt the very worst I have ever known in my lifetime and that it reflects in the streets. My travels these last few days have taken me out of my usual central London or Scottish Highlands. I have had reason to visit the suburb and the poorest part of London and I see only desperation, growing poverty. Look at the fact that just on energy alone, on a conservative estimate within one year, we're talking £1,300 a year going up in bills. We're going to have about 10 million people in fuel poverty. We have a real absolute, not relative poverty issue going to come in the UK with food banks oversubscribed, with debt crisis agencies do not have any tools. And I need to say, with the Chancellor coming on in a moment, if you could give me, as the money-saving expert who's been known for this, I am virtually out of tools to help people now. Growing poverty and... Last night, my wife spent an hour trying to glue my daughter's school shoes back together because we can't afford to buy her a new pair. I mean, I'm 65, I've worked all my life and we can't afford £20 for a pair of shoes. So with the gas, electric and my mortgage, that's 75% of my wages mm. gone without anything else, without any, you know, council tax, water rates, car insurance, petrol, food, any of that, 75% of my wage is gone. Do you find it hard? Yes, yes. And so are you optimistic at all about the future? Optimism? Uh, it's not... I, 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 a word I use a lot these days. Growing poverty and worst of all, hate. Hate for immigrants, hate for those of a different tribe, hate for those with different views, hate for itself. I see dirt, grime, graffiti. Boarded up shops, failing businesses, social deprivation on a scale not seen since 1980s. The UK needs change urgently and radically not the pseudo change of the hard left or the fake patriotism of the hard right but the change of social mobility job security and renewed respect for the political process and those who engage in it most of all it needs decent politicians people who enter politics not for self but to serve to identify what needs to be done and view it as a challenge to be achieved, not a profit opportunity. <laughs> uh, it needs politicians who will tell the truth and explain the process of change, tell the truth most of all about Brexit, because it is Brexit that is at the heart of so much that is wrong with Britain. The damage it has done will take a generation to repair and the sooner Okay, like I said, it takes about 10 years to destroy a generation. Now, how long is gonna take to change that? To make the reverse of that? I don't know. Because people have to recognize there is a problem and then willing to change. Okay, so many of these I'm not surprised by it. Okay, the process starts, the faster it will be fixed. Brexit had probably robbed this current 19 to 30 years old generation that can be changed. Look at this. It is the future now that counts. The young girls and boys in secondary school, those should be the target. Forget the short term, plan long. Plan for a Britain ready to rejoin the EU as a full member with all the responsibilities and massive advantages that brings. The empire is dead and gone. The Commonwealth doesn't look to London any longer. Britain, you are European. Throw off the past and join with us. See, one of the things that I realize as an outsider, okay, perception, humble opinion, just like this guy is saying as his um, humble opinion, which I'm sort of aligned with. One of the things that I realized is that when uh, Brexit were really to, uh, you know, the Tories, those people who were advocating for Brexit, okay, they were in power. And uh, the pitch that they made, they didn't want to pay for all of those you know whatever required to be part of the eu okay they didn't want the country 
to be responsible for all of this. Believe me, all of these sound good if they implemented it. I've talked about this before, P-Y-T-E. But what happened is that once they got what they wanted, things change now those money that would have been gone to be part of eu and have all the benefits and all of that that extra money goes in their pockets what did they do with the ppe the same thing happened in the U in the us as well with those loans that they gave and then trump forgave these people for those uh, those whatever i didn't look into it because it was so depressing but similar thing happened in the us but in the uk with the ppp here you have people who's creating bogus businesses who have nothing to do with medical where most of their background is dealt with uh business and financial and all of that and then during the pandemic for some reason they create a business to do ppe kind of services for the uk they have no idea how this works okay and then uh certain um uh, what do you call this certain not loans uh incentive or to uh contract that's the word certain contract were given to these people for millions of dollars where they have no absolutely no idea no background in the medical field giving to them and i scream about this i was like is there any some sort of a bid process to see who's best fit for it do they just hand it to certain people okay i raise all of this so all of this money that could have gone to pay part of the being part of eu go to their bodies they go to their pocket so if this idea to uh, vote you know for brexit was implemented maybe it could have worked okay but once they get what they wanted they went haywire they see oh we could get all of that money then these things goes in the, into their pocket it's up to the uk all right the citizen itself but from outside we see all of those things similar thing happened with the us uh but anyway it crossed my mind when he says something um what is it uh plan for a britain ready to rejoin the eu as full member with all the responsibilities this the responsibilities this is the part that brexit was somewhat being pitched to the people they didn't want to take those part part of those responsibilities those fees to be part of the eu so those fees that should have been part of the eu now goes into their pocket all right so that's it let's continue with the recording and the other thing as well yesterday what did charles did send some sort of a congratulatory to uh his korean whatever dictator meanwhile his son who's doing such a good thing for the global community he shut his mouth okay so this play a huge role in which direction the current system wants to head before i've always said uk is always playing two-faced but now it's not hiding it anymore it's not hiding it anymore. The U.S. was trying to go in the same direction. But what did we do? We're fighting back. The process is long. Many people are not agreeing with the process because justice is taking too long. But we are fighting back. Okay? At least there's a small hope. But the U.K., I really don't know. Okay? Let me... Oh, that was it okay his thread is done here and these are some comments and he responded to that okay it's all about me i'm the most important never mind the money poor wages and the betrayal it's all about me okay i'm not sure if you are trying to make a point here or simply stabbing at the keyboard in a vain attempt at communication either way i have no idea what you are saying care to try again sounds like this one is sort of making reference to the uh the monarchy let's see here in the past it was about being part of something a community a union a club now it's a free for all it's all about me we are doomed he makes sense he explaining okay i'm seeing that file i understand him i understand even in this one i sort of i see it as if he's making reference to the institution okay the the monarchy and then here he's making it now about the politician it's me 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 everybody comes and grab and put in their pockets i understand him very well okay but let's continue i'm still not following you but it sounds like you're thinking micro where this problem is micro 
this is beyond a simple fix and in order to even start addressing it it's important for people to understand the gravity okay i think it is a reference to the me generation that started in the 70s was institutionalized with thatcherism okay thatcherism and when rampant from there uk culture when i left was very much about me as an individual and not so much about us as a society i understand that one as well from a long way away the entire Brexit campaign appeared targeted to the me crowd. Why should I pay you up? Why am I paying for my grant? Why am I? The usual division and hate tactics, but it was all me targeted. We have had our share here as well. I understand. Yep, there's the clap. Violence. Violence behavior involving physical force intended to hurt, damage, or kill someone or something. The, the U.S. is in that right now. But at least somehow the the legal system sort of sometimes bring justice to those, but we have to fight for it. If we don't, if we let's say let one slide, many others will continue, will follow. Okay, as worse as it may seem from the outside world, I'm living in it. I'm living in it. I'm not saying it's pretty or anything like that. Knock on wood, my family never experienced any of the crazy things that I see other families have gone through. But I could see where people outside can see uh, the damage the U.S. is going through. But at least me living inside, we could say we fight through. If we persistent with our will and uh, we seek for justice, we will find it. But the UK just sit back, relax, and don't say anything. As a matter of fact, many have joined in. That's the thing. Where they see the most powerful is at, they don't try to challenge the most powerful. They just easily join in. When you look at when in Trump era, okay, there's a possibility he might be able to get in again. But people are fighting too because of the system that we have right giving it uh legs for both ways but we have to fight so when we look at in the trump era he was you know all those powerful he got all those people to make bids for him and all of that but the little people and fight too okay we got him out of there he can steal the election the way that he wish he could have if people did not go out and vote and so many other small little things look at now he's facing a lot of legal battles okay so there's a lot to go in this let me read this and then move on okay hi please find the envelope here so there's more here this is not a funny thread okay i'll like it and maybe at some point i'll come to it let's see here you just described europe lol i've gone outside of my central London bubble to see the state of the country by visiting the suburb of London. Oh, please don't make out. You can gauge anything about the UK in this way. There's no endemic stifle ambition, hate, aggression, or violence in my part of the UK. Well, I, I'm from the outside looking in, so I understand him. I see exactly what he's saying. Okay, I'm from the US. And this is what happened to our country. If Dems don't win in 2024 election, I'm afraid that will be the end of us. I'm too old to move. Just so far and for my family, three granddaughters, I can believe our world is turning into this. Like I've said, okay, this is why I say I'm not surprised by anything he's saying. I've said this so many times. Okay, the world. Okay, they were in one. They, there was a plan for these people to do something. Whatever it was, they all were aligning. They had the same vision. But the 2020 election interrupted that. Now, with this comment, 2024, if we don't fight back, we are doomed. So I understand everything that I'm seeing here. And I've shared many of these with you. Some of you may not understand what I see, but I've explained many of these in so many other videos. So I understand everything. I understand everything because I see it. It's small little parts. They don't, how will I say that? When I say small little parts, it's like you have to read between the lines. You see people act and then you see reaction, but they don't show you the full part all at once. But if you add one and one together, you see the whole picture. 
okay so this is the way i see things i'm not a politician i'm not a political analyst uh none of these things okay people goes to school to learn all of this i don't okay but just my humble opinion i've shared many of my thoughts with you so i understand everything in that tweet all right with that being said let's move on to the next one you might see this in another video because i plan on cutting it put it on my other channels as well before i get to into the invictus kind of thing this one i literally saw it before i start recording and i quickly add it so there's this here okay he said what he said bullseye okay it's 45 seconds what's one country that should not exist listen to this and it matched perfectly with what i just said listen the United Kingdom. Why, why, why do you wish the United Kingdom have existed? Because the United Kingdom is the source of all evil. They destroyed India. They destroyed America. They destroyed Africa. They destroyed every part of the world. What have I said? Where did evil originated? In the UK. I've said this so many times. So the, this person, I guess, believed the same way that I believe. But let's continue. To create this, where we're around. That's why I wish UK did not exist. Wow, okay. So you're basically saying United Kingdom stinks of colonization, basically. It stinks of colonization. I mean, let's, let, let me put it to you like this. The national dish is an Indian dish. Oh. That, their history is stealing in it. Okay, all right. I like that. It's educated. So you like history. I can clearly tell oh, you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay so there's that let me read some of the comment okay i agree but why can't they also still hygienic habits if it's not teeth is bath towel come on now man hello you okay well i don't know what this have duty personality and duty body uh, i saw this uh, this tweet and i responded to it the original tweet of that okay but not that one okay nearly two million brits only wash their towel once a year expert reveal how often you should be doing it okay let me see if i could find my comment under it let me open another th branch uh notification laughing my ass off okay that's something okay 100 percent believe okay this is it okay so someone put the the whole th um screenshot this is it okay you know what that's from dr shula actually i didn't put it on the list but it happened in the comment of that other tweet nearly two million brits only wash their towel once a year expert reveal how often you should be doing it okay so this is by daily mail okay so that's my response to it perhaps it's the writer's way of living and categorize two million brits under her nasty ways knowing what i know now about experts i put in quotation and uppercase being used daily fell articles the writers tend to be the expert one nasty expert for sure <laughs> okay so this there's no way I, I i'm not gonna i don't agree with it but um it must be the wider no let's go back to that okay so that took a different turn but i told you i saw that but um anyway let's move on remember this street of the world okay this is what we're back on okay dude crouch down and look directly into the camera i love it i wish friends will get this smoke they're right up there no lies detected but it it was african who taught european about bathing okay i spoke about this uh, on some old videos on pure yte with that being said i don't want to go into history of things let's move on <laughs> okay let's move on maybe i'll put it right after this okay so this is where we are now okay like h said they are trapped anyone sees the similarities to someone across the pond at least the people in that particular pond are trying to do something about it this is like giving a middle finger up to the uk okay it's up to the uk i want to see the excuses for this it's gonna be fun reading them all right so it's making reference to is this here okay let's click on it i can see king charles sends no good wishes to the veterans but to kim Jong un on north korean anniversary this is a clear statement and i think i do not have to comment on this all right so this i've shared on my community board let me click on it to give you the link if you want to read it oh oh is it a screenshot okay i don't have it it's not oh 
okay so there it is here okay i'll put the link in the description for you guys you could read it all right let's read some of the comments what the ever loving th there's this there is something serious wrong with that family and there's me here my comment 19 people like it okay and there's me added to it oh i forgot it's 9 11. someone took bag of cash from a certain family america you on your own five eyes my ass if you know what five i five eyes is you'll understand my tweet north korea appreciate its veteran more than the crown wearing chuck and his love partner or mother's H hubbard what does that mean we are invictus and all of that okay get more effed up by the day okay so who is the traitor not the ginger air guy giving his all and supporting many nation veterans giving them life a purpose of value that's our hazard for you okay this is sick a monarch of a democratic country send a message to cool dictator who starve his own people etc my opinion of kc3 has gone down to below zero is he on self-destruct mode since his mother died hmm. okay i saw this yesterday but not responded because we all know who he is and the monarchy has its own way of diplomacy and they don't care wrong or right I'm not surprised he doesn't acknowledge the good work of Harry and the Invictus game. Charles is evil. <laughs> okay, because they have the same belief system and the PR strategy. Let's see here. Uh, Kim's wife is very much like the Kate Middleton of North Korea. That's the laugh. Okay, um, how they describe North Korean is exactly how Kensington Royal is rebranding itself and his pathetic excuse of a father. Oh, let me pause. Okay, I didn't know it was uh, look like from the History Channel. Okay, um, Kensington Royal is rebranding itself and his pathetic excuse of a father and his mistress are modernizing the monarchy. Let's see here, 27 seconds. I didn't know it was that. Let's see here. In 2018, Kim changes his wife's official title from comrade to first lady. <laughs> from comrade to... She has a very distinct role She's very much like the Kate Middleton of North Korea. She is there to kind of humanize her husband, but also the two of them together are supposed to be a kind of modern, aspirational couple. In 2018. Whatever. And the thing is that with him, he studied abroad. He went to universities in the Europe. I believe, where did he go? What's his name? Let me copy it. Kim Jong-un, where's his name somewhere? Uh, Kim, okay, let me just grab it here. Looks like it's up here. Kim, Charles sent good wishes to Kim Jong-un. Okay, let's open a new thing here. Oh, I didn't do a prayer for my last one, for my last video. So I'll do two prayers later. Okay, where did Kim Jong-un study? Okay, most analysis agree that Kim Jong-un attend Kim the Second Song University, a leading officer training school in Pyongyang from 2002 to 2007. King Kim obtained two degrees, one in physics at Kim Jong University and another as an army officer. Okay, there was a uh, military university. There was somewhere I read. Okay, Kim Jong-un, North Korean po politician who has been supreme leader. Okay, so maybe it wasn't him. He's 39. Born January 2000, um, 1984. Hmm. Okay, never mind. So I got the wrong one. Not so while well, it's been, what, the following day since I did this recording, and while I'm editing and I still believe in what I was saying in the video and I decided to do a quick search and I type did Kim Jong-un study abroad so this is the result that I got later it was reported that Kim Jong-un attended the I probably gonna pronounce this wrong the Lieberfeld Stenhol Z State School in Konis near Bern under the name Pak Un or Unpak 
from 1998 until 2000 as the son of an employee of the North Korean embassy in Bern. Then I went a little bit further. I highlight, where is it, the name of the school? Where is it? Uh, where did I put? Alright, I did this. Where did, okay, where is Liberfield, whatever that thing is? Alright, so this is what I find. There's this. And then under that, this is the name of the school. Under that, there's this article. Greedy, angry, violent Kim Jong Un real school days. That's the one that I am aware of. When I was recording originally yesterday, I didn't want to waste time because I was recording and then I did the quick search, it didn't show up. So I thought I was wrong. But while I'm editing, and I was like, no, he went aboard and I did that research. So this is it here. Okay, the link of this will be in the description. I'm not going to read all of it, okay? Greedy, violent, with an explosive temper and inclined to swagger over his classmates is the unvanished reality that has emerged of North Korean dictator Kim Jong-un's school days. The true pictures supersedes an earlier airbrush version which had a young Jim Un as a basketball-loving American culture-obsessed teenager. Certainly, he liked basketball while attending the elite Liberfield Steinholzi State School near the Swiss city of Bern between 1998 and 2000. But according to Axios.com, a classified file on the leader's formative years compiled from interviews with the school teachers, students, and staff portrayed a darker portrait portrait of the future despot okay so there's more to it the link will be in the description okay and there's a picture of him here so my original thought when i was first recording and then i lost track because what i thought was but when i did that quick research it was not what i found so i dismissed my thought the thing that I was going to say for doing the research because this is someone who study abroad who has pretty much a world view outside of his country and then for him to have that kind of mindset but then again he did carry the same mindset where he was in Switzerland so that sort of negates some of the thing that I was thinking but um yeah it's kind of sad this is how some people are i don't know god needs to help us around the world all right so let's go back to the original recording him i'm glad i look it up okay so there's the okay i'm done with this let's go to the next one did i read that i don't think i read the comments okay there's this like harry said they are trapped Okay, any, yes, I did. I did read it. Okay. Right? Anyone sees the similarities to someone across the pond, at least the people in that particular pond are trying to do something about it. This is like giving a middle finger. You, uh, it's up to you, okay? I want to see the excuses for this. It's going to be fun reading them. All right, let's go to the next read. Okay. Wow, why is it taking so long? For a minute, it feels like the thing is... Uh, uh, frozen yesterday my computer had froze, so I had to restart it. I thought the same thing keep on happening All right, so there's another tweet here Prince Harry got the palace permission at the last minute to visit Queen Elizabeth the second crypt I'm not gonna share the article, but there's me responding to it here. Okay, let's pause the GIF Of course, they gave him permission. There's the Pinocchio nose. Okay. I 1000 believe believe them now that they feel they are still in control can they please leave leave them alone all right them meaning harry and megan all right so i was like oh okay you know they're lying they're making excuse they want to be seen as if they're still in control that's all it is okay another lie from the royal family the royal family didn't even know harry was there they never tell the truth like never it's always smoke and mirrors for them why will he need permission? It was open to the public and he walked in like everyone else. That's it. Okay. And that video that I shared that of the following day of Chris Chip telling his nonsense. And uh, what is it? There's, there was a, 
screenshot of when the thing is open the church is open they say it's open to the public from certain time okay what an absolute rubbish okay even if harry got permission doesn't mean it should have been photographed that's the problem with harry and megan okay we cannot control who happened to see them okay what's the problem with the other one i'll come to that because there's 11 comment here okay they take private moment and sell them to the highest bidders okay the same thing the other ones are doing so this is just a projection all right let me read these three and that's it study button up and then go into that okay it's open to the public therefore he does no need permission it does not need permission okay i will believe it when i hear from harry mouth or his steam for for you to know the palace wanted to take credit for him visiting like he's a second like a two-year-old he okay he permission to go to the bathroom okay sure jen they've told us for months charles and company are not speaking to harry <laughs> that is true i forgot about that all right uh they don't know when he got in and where he stayed but yeah he asked for permission to visit a church that is open to the public there's the life here all right so let's go into that 11 comment here okay even if harry got permission doesn't mean it should have been photographed that's the problem with harry and megan okay so this is why i wanted they take private moments and sell them to the highest bidder so there's the comment to that oh f off the life for i won't expect anything else from toxic squaddies okay all right a member of the public snapped the photo it wasn't a pap it wasn't a professional photo photographer a la wells giving the timing he was probably on his way to the airport he was wearing the same clothes when he arrived in germany one person taking a picture as opposed to a whole press huh that's the taking uh, face okay why do you hate harry that much stop telling lies about him you know nothing about him all right so now that i read it adios black all right so let's go to the next tweet all right there's that wow this is taking long what in the name why is it taking so long okay i'll fast forward okay so there's this here they can keep on trying to discredit me all they want there's the laugh but the views are the views and they can't even compete all right so this is matt our new squad is okay uh, the one who uh, took uh, videos of Harry and Meghan dancing at the Beyonce's concert, him, that's him. All right, so he took screenshot, I guess, some of his videos. Okay, two million, partying next to Prince Harry and Meghan Marco at Beyonce's concert, two million. Okay, these are some of the videos that I've shared with you. Okay, Meghan Marco getting down on the dance floor to Diva, 1.6 million. Megan and Harry falling in love all over again to one on one B. Okay, 1.8 million. Okay, so there's that. 2 million. Megan Marco being iconic. 2 million views. Okay, Prince Harry. Oh my god, that's the dance. Prince Harry gets down to crazy in love. Wow, 4.3 million. Woohoo. <laughs> He's dancing. <laughs> Okay, look what they try to do to you. Imagine what Meghan and Harry get by the British establishment, royal family, their media, along with their blindly loyal minions. Okay, stand fast, Matt. If the British media is trying to discredit you, that means you're on the right side of history. That's for sure. Okay, the numbers do not lie. All 19 million of them. We thank you for your service. There's that here. 19.6 million. Wow. There's that here. Uh, you said what you said. There's this. People lie, but numbers don't. Okay, the facts are facts. Iconic night. Thank you. All right. You two are wrenched in their lying game. Them the wonderful reception and turn out at the Invictus Games are giving them horrors. Exactly. Numbers don't lie. 12 and them haters. Okay, the views of viewing. Okay, let's go to the next one. All right. So there's the squad throwing shades at Harry. All right, if you go on my other channel, I have a video from a different perspective where Harry was uh, showing his shoes, a, a video. 
okay so this one is a still image it looked completely different okay this guy is stunting us i swear he gets report of our tweet on guest shoes because what is this display by harry all right so there's that here it just happened they caught him at the you know that moment okay so there's me here he did say if they are talking about him he has to know by far the always says don't read it everyone says don't read it because it's always rubbish i'm surprised how many people in the uk actually read it um i mean everyone's everyone's guilty for buying the newspapers i guess but um hopefully no one actually believes what they read <laughs> um which i certainly don't but yeah of course of course i read it. if there's a story and something's being written about me i want to know he did say if they are talking about him he has to know the story and something's being written about me i want to know um what's being said um but it, all it does is just upset me and anger me that people can get away with writing the stuff they do not just about me about everything and everybody so yeah he knows Sussex squad he knows lol harry is trolling the squad on twitter love it lol haha -ha. he knows and he knows squad is or in attendance he is so silly for this lol let me find out he has a burn account and found us gagging about his shoes prince harry is a squaddy observer he looks thrilled at his new shoes okay you go harry he clearly doesn't keep his shoes in the box anymore <laughs> Let's go to the next tweet. Next tweet. Megan must have packed 11 pairs of shoes for Big H. Men just out here showing off. There's that here. That's regarding the shoes. Okay, she said her men must shine. Okay, this is someone that I black. Okay, they saw the trolling from the squad and our aunties had to step in. Who is that? Is that a squaddy? This feels like... This feels like... Um, no, that that's this one here. Who is that? Okay, I can view. Okay, because I black it. Who cares anyway? Um, it feels like uh, making reference to that shoes thing. Okay, no more holes on the shoes. LOL, chill. Our sis tired of our quote heavy has one gray suede shoes jokes. She said we're never gonna catch her man slipping again. Uh, why she said y'all about to see something. Il Okay, 11 laughing my ass off. I'm waiting for the Daily Fell article if there hasn't been one already, showing all his different shoes and tally up how much they cost. Heavy probably has a suitcase just for the shoes. Okay, when he do it, okay, there's the laugh. Let's go to the next one. I'm almost done. I have three tweets left after that one. Come on. Oh my God, this is taking forever. I wonder why. Okay, so that's this here. The squad throwing shade at People Magazine. Okay, she out here ordering and in and out. And we here waiting patiently for her pretty self. There's that. P.S. That smile though. <laughs> Let's go into it. Yep. There's that. And then out. Oh, so they took a picture of her. And the in and out burger. So that's probably old. <laughs> that's the tea and they, they're waiting for her to show up okay so there's people magazine megan marco picked up an in and out burger at the drive thru while prince harry is at invictus game all right okay i completely agree with you she's out here living her life and i freaking love it but i saw someone saying this photo was taken in sunday in la you know archie is trying to get him something to eat yes megan doesn't eat burgers she have turkey fish or chicken once in a while otherwise she eats vegan uh then she said they love this is one of their thing i mean I don't know. You will have to be Megan to know exactly all of that. But there are times, for instance, I don't eat fast food. But however, one of my favorite burger is um, spicy chicken from Wendy's. When my we pass by, we don't have it near our house. Thank God. Otherwise, I'll be eating that every day. But if my husband is passing by, and he's ordering, okay, if he's making a stop for himself, I'll tell him to get me one okay but we will not know once in a while eating certain things is okay but every 
all the time not good I right. I didn't finish with it but what the hell is wrong with this I can't paste next one okay I hope that burger was a pre-flight -like meal <laughs> squad throwing shit it's regarding that same uh tweet okay with the people magazine below i didn't read the people magazine one but they made the reference to it okay i guarantee you she's not in california anymore she's not going to drive 2.5 hours from monticello just to grab a burger in la she was probably heading to the airport okay well she is gonna drive herself to the airport so now nah. the lady just pick up her kids from school and it's burger night for dinner lol it was on the 10th apparently y'all are killing me i love it i'm telling you the squad they don't need they don't need the uh harry and megan to come out they create their own narrative for any pictures especially me okay what i miss in the five minutes i leave my cell phone okay what 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 happened okay that doesn't really look like megan okay crossing fingers she looks like a child uh, do we know who the person was with her? Archwell employee. I just need to see her tomorrow. That's the cry. Mrs. Henry was picking up burger for the flight. Then babies are having burgers for dinner. <laughs> oh my God. The narrative. We almost like the daddy fell. We create the narrative for them. Next. Week. What is going on with this? When I click on it, it just take forever. I have one more tweet after that one. Okay, hope she is eating that burger on her way to the airport. <laughs> the squad making their own narrative, all of that. Okay, there's the laugh, lol. Madam Duchess is already with Harry. You'll see her tomorrow. Relax. Okay, when I saw that screenshot of the Daily Mail, I holler because, girl, the world is waiting for you and your ass at a burger joint. <laughs> okay, look, she's better bring her ass to Dusseldorf. We're not playing. Okay, I think she's making sure that the first day, I guess, first day of school goes smoothly for Archie and Lily. Okay, oh lord. Okay, I got two dogs looking at me wondering why I burst out laughing and can't stop. They have now moved to the bedroom. The photo is from September 10. What happened in the five minutes I was waiting the bo water boils? I just leave X five minutes. Okay, that's that. Just five minutes. Or taking one to Harry. Used to have friends fly with a bag full of White Castle sliders. I ate White Castle once. I was in high school. We went to a party. It was like maybe 1 or 2 a.m. Oh my God. That White Castle burger was good. Now, as an adult, years later, pass. And I wanted to take... We passed by a White Castle and uh my husband you know my husband is a five is a fast food phenom he knows all the good things about um any fast food so we i don't know remember oh i was doing a freelance work and he drove me there it was in queens to do something to get the work freelance it was and my regular employee it's just a freelance work i went to pick up and we passed by a uh, white castle i can't believe i remember that and I was like, oh, I want to taste it. Da, da, da. I, I wanted to go back to that same feeling when I was in high school. It doesn't taste the same anymore. So I never had it ever since. But the first time that I tasted it, it was like musical to my mouth and ears, my tummy and everything. But not anymore. What in the name with that? Cheese. It's not. Oh my God, it's taking forever. Next tweet. This is my last one, by the way. I know as soon as I close my eyes for a nap, this girl is going to pop up and I'll miss everything like I did last time with Beyonce. All right, the, the bowling eye. Okay, it's 9.30 p.m. there now. Okay, I'm going to sleep. Shoot, what am I? If she just pop out, I will miss it. Laughing my ass off. So it's not just me, huh? Checking in one more time at midnight because she got us out here guessing. <laughs> okay, I think she'll come on the 14th. There's the laugh. Laughing my ass off. Okay, so I'm done. I see twin of my notification. Okay, so I know this one I, uh, I respond to it. Okay, like it said, they are trapped. I went to that already. Uh, he did say if they are talking about him, he has to know. Did I do this? I think I did. Okay, so that's regarding the shoes. He did say if he, 
if they are talking about him, he has to know. So yeah, he knows Sussex Squad. He knows. All right. So let's do a prayer. I'm going to have to do two prayers. Prayer for what? Let's do for safety. Okay. One, because I didn't do a prayer on my, yeah, that, that thing is slow. Why is that? Go. It's taking forever. All right. A prayer for trust and refuge in the name of the Lord, Heavenly Father, my strength and my deliverer. I come before you today recognizing your mighty power and infinite love for me. I acknowledge that in you I find safety and security amidst the uncertainties and trials of life. Okay? So let's pick another one. Let's pick this for one of my videos because I didn't do one for the other one. My Father, these are... Okay, the pictures. My father, these are perilous time we live in. Okay, perilous time we live in, but I know you are God. When other fear the devourer, I rebuke him in the name of Jesus. Because you said no weapon formed against me shall prosper. I stand on your promises. Oh, fa oh the background color of the ocean make it hard to see. Okay, I stand on your promises, O oh Father. I believe that you are more than able to keep me safe during these times. All right, so that's it. I hope I remember when I'm editing the other video to come in this one and grab it. So that's it. Please take a moment to subscribe, like, and share. If you want to support this channel, there's a PayPal link and a Cash App link in the description. You could donate. Those who have donated, thank you. All right, so that's it. My estimate revenue still in that. Thank you for your support. You know, we want we ask for forgiveness and uh, and please come back. As you saw me find the love and happiness that I'd hoped for all my life. decisions that I ever made. You will be continually amazed how life changes for the better.